has infinity, no one knows where it ends, so we're not going to talk about that. It's just going to be a parenthesis. And minus 5, also a parenthesis, because it's not included. It cannot be a square bracket. And this one, what do you think will be the problem or the solution? This is included, right? So it is a square bracket. And this is not included, so it is a round bracket. The square bracket was for minus 13 over 2. And the round bracket was for 3 over 2. So interesting. Okay, sorry about that digression. I just had to say it. Now, 2x plus 5 less than 4 or, two, or 3x minus 6 greater than 12. Let's find the solution for x and for x there. So here, if, it, if you make x the subject of the formula, you, you're left with x is less than minus half. And it says or. Oh, when you make x the subject, x is greater than 18. So x is greater than 6. So x is less than minus half or x is greater than 6. How do you represent that in a set notation and on a number line? Well, on a number line, you have these numbers, minus half and you've got um, 6. Now, what does x less than minus half tell you? It says go to the left hand side and never come back x greater than 6 tells you go to the right hand side and never come back. There is no equality sign so we're not going to do any shading but that is all. This middle is not part of the deal. So that's the answer to that on number line and for the set notation we're going to have two issues. Minus infinity to minus half and this is not included and you've got 6 to positive infinity, both of them are not included, but it says all. So all means that this is possible or this is the case. So all, we use the word, well, we use union. That's the U. You get to see this. We'll talk about um, probabilities later on. So this or this, that's the way to represent an or scenario. But when it's an and scenario, I mean, both of them will have the same condition you know so that would be the case so I'm not going to solve the last one but I'm just going to tell you how it relates to this too and it's something you should always be able to solve any day and time all right the last question was number six and it said absolute value of 2x minus 7 is less than 9 now don't be scared when you see absolute value absolute value tells you that we just want the number if you say minus 3 what's the number 3 if you say plus 3 what's the number 3 so absolute value means that whatever the answer is ignore the sign and just tell us what the number is so that's what we mean by the absolute value now when you talk about an absolute value being less than a number for instance when you say absolute value of x is less than 2 what it means is that if x were a positive value it should be between 0 and 2. If x were a negative value, it should be from minus 2, you know. So this means that this is the case. And it's an AND case. So this should be the case and that should be the case. So usually, just ignore what I've just said. That was just a little discussion. This, In this kind of problem, this absolute value being less than a number 2 means that the real number, the real value, is actually between minus of this number and plus of that number. So when you see something like this, it should remind you of the question we just solved. Okay, so in this question, you've been told that um, 2x minus 7 absolute value is less than 9. That's simply telling you that the normal number 2x minus 7 is actually between two numbers. 9 and minus 9. So you're going to solve it the way we solved the other one. Treat this, then treat that. Does it look interesting to you now? You happy to do it at home? Please do it. And leave your answers in the comment section so I can tell you if you're right or not too right. No one is ever wrong. Okay. Um, yeah, that was it. I'm happy we're moving quickly now. I know I've taken a long much of your time 
I'm so 